tuning in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after show entertainment. Johnson. Johnson. TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! This sounds like super spring breaky. Yeah, it is. This is like spring breaky. Speaking of, hey everyone, it's your awkward after show here at AfterBuzz TV. It's season four, episode twenty-one, the season finale, spring break part two, and I am your host Tiana Hobson. Joining me, I have my lovely co-host. Hey co-host. guys, <laughs> co-host. 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 Yeah. That actually is more appropriate. Yeah. I like that better. <laughs> hey guys, it's your girl Giselle Ugardi here. And unfortunately, Jason and Christina couldn't be with us. They have this little coke problem, so they went down to South Florida. <laughs> well, to so well, Christina. Yeah, yeah. Aww. So, and then Christina had to get this thing that rhymes with smush motion. Yeah. There's this whole thing about their situation. Yeah. But we have two amazing filling special guests with us tonight. We have guest co-hosts. Oh, filling guests. That's no, what we are. No, you guys oh. are. You guys are. You guys are special co-hosts. We're special co-hosts. We're special co-hosts. Table with us. We moving us. up. We uh, moving, moving up. up. Hey, yeah. hey moving you, up. you guys are my co-hosts too. Okay. Right. <laughs> you guys are my co-hosts. <laughs> <co-host>. <laughs> we have Aaron Westbrook who plays Gabby. Hi. And Yay. Kofi Sirabo. Who, Who plays, plays Tyler? Tyler. Did yeah. I, get, I got the name right, of though, course, right? All right. Did. Yes. Nailed it. Nailed that. Uh-huh. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. Thanks for having us. Of course. So you guys are great friends on and off set. I can tell already. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are over there. Like, yeah. Right. You, know, you, guys were, you guys were over there, like, kind of poking each other. And Jason and Christina sit on that t- side of the table and are tickling each other oh, really? during yeah. our show. So, oh, so we came, yeah. you guys are really, the, you guys are like there. the chocolate version of Jason and Christina. Yeah. Yeah. Jason and Christina. I awesome. Dig it. Yeah, I dig that. But you guys that. didn't have a lot of scenes together, so tell everyone no. how you bonded. Okay, well. Well, we're the only black people on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Let's just take it there. That's number one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it 100. Nah, we, we had an adjoining trailer, and we just had a lot of um time off camera to just talk and like, get to know each other. So Yeah, one one day we just um, opened up the wall. We were like right. talking through the wall, <laughs> and then we're like, "Why don't we just changing. open it up?" And we opened it up and had like heart to hearts. It was really, it was really good. It it's was. like a sleepover it was in the nice. middle of the day. Yeah. Of the day. Okay. it was party. really nice. It was really nice, and we were at like a dope location. We were on location. Yeah, it wasn't on the studio, so it was like a, it was like a field trip. It's like a sense. built-in friend, literally. Right. Mm, yeah. <laughs> literally. Just right there waiting for you. Right there. Doesn't and, get any and, easier. And we're black. And you're black. There's the black part for you. I'm black. I'm like, I'm brown. We gotta be friends. Yeah. <laughs> by default. It was all love. It was all love. You guys just walk by each other, give the what's up nod. Yeah. Hey, we already knew what's up. It was just a yeah. Uh, Actually, Kofi, Kofi, do you remember coming up to me at Crafty on my first yeah, day? Yeah, of course, of course. That, that yeah. was on the studio. Yeah, that was yeah. at the studio, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you came up to me at, at Craft Services. And it was so and quick, I, and I was like shirtless because we just finished that one scene at the um, Hell Tent. And then I was like, no, I, was I like, definitely hey, have to be friends with this boy. And she just walked by with her hat, and I was like, she's so fancy. <laughs> Huh. Well, so I have to ask because I know if I don't, the audience is going to kill me. Is it just friends? Of course. Yes, we're More just than friends. friends. I mean, you tell me. We're Aaron. just friends. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey. Uh, no, I know. We're just, just friends. friends. Just, just friends. friends. Nice and holidays only. I'm just, kidding. <laughs> uh, just friends. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, All right, so we're going to talk to you guys a little bit later in the show, too. We're going to get into tonight's episode. I want to start with Miss. Gabby's character Uh-oh. because Aaron already knows how I felt about Gabby. <laughs> Listen, I understand. Yeah, and when we sat down to watch the episode, she tells me, oh, yeah, let me know how you feel about Gabby after tonight mm-hmm. because it comes out of the left field what happens. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and it does. It does. Yes. It does. Oh my gosh. So, 
first it starts with her and Maddie going to visit his dad. His again. bio dad. His bio right. dad. Again. Right. Again. And she's being kind of territorial, ter- territorial about the whole thing with Jenna, which yeah. it's been a passive-aggressive relationship with those two because, I mean, we've talked about this, and yeah. I kind of felt like since Jen- since Maddie and Jenna started the journey of finding his father together, right. that... It's okay to have her in on it now, but it feels like Gabby just wants the whole situation to herself. Mm-hmm. Totally. I think she's just super uh, betrayed still about everything that went down when, you know, she, I think she looked at Jenna as, you know, a really good friend and was but hoping did she? I think she was hoping that it would be a friendship. I think okay. she was like, you know, this girl is important to Maddie and Maddie's important to me, so by default we should probably try to make some things happen. I think her invite to to Jenna to come to the party, help set up and that heart to heart they have behind the couch. I think that's all real. Mm-hmm. I think that it really hurt her when she she found out that that you know Jenna and Maddie had something that sort of happened um, after the party, and I think you know it's just after that she's been super territorial and defensive and just wants to keep everything sort of separate. Mm-hmm. I think she's nervous and you know insecure, obviously as well. See the way that I look at it is. I, I nicknamed from the beginning Gabby Gabby Douglas. I know. She's an athlete. Because <laughs> she's an athlete and she's really competitive and she always gets her way. Right. And she's and, black. And, and, yeah. I mean, she yeah. named everything but that. And she's, sure. and, and she's black. She's, I mean, it works. <laughs> totally. But, um, but the way that I always saw it is, you know, she's this really, really competitive person. She's really confident. So she wants to keep her enemies closer. That way, when it comes to a situation like this, she has the right to say to Jenna, no, you can't come. But, like, as a friend, you have to respect that. And Interesting. Versus, like, you know, and obviously there's insecurity there as well. Yeah, totally. Because totally. Jenna understands Maddie in a different way. Mm-hmm. But for that, that's why I was so territorial and protective about Maddie, and I was just starting to warm up to you last <laughs> week, now. girlfriend. Now. Just last week, just I was like, I may be feeling About her a, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I am able to separate you from your character. Oh, I appreciate it. When we watched it, you said, I didn't see it coming either, so, you know, no hard <laughs> feelings. I, I did not see fired that up. <laughs> yeah. Well, now, now you never know what's going to happen with Gabby and Jake, so maybe that leaves Maddie being sort of a free agent, and maybe that will give Team Jaddy a chance again. Do you know what happens yet? Have you no guys idea. Oh, we don't start friends too. Yeah, we don't go back until January. Oh, nice. Well, I mean, the, I think the biggest thing that I have to deal with with this whole Gabby and Jake thing is that it's so reminiscent of what Jenna already did to Maddie their first go around. Yeah. Because, you know, Maddie was keeping her a secret, and then Jenna started dating Jake, and then they find out, Jake and Maddie, and then they end up fighting over a girl in the middle of the quad. And then here we are, you know, three years later. Yeah. And Jake goes and sleeps with his best friends, and she was a virgin. Yeah. But that's the thing. Does I, I want to know if that actually happened. Oh, or if they if, slept together, if they or actually she was a slept together. Well, I think that she definitely was. A, I think she was a virgin. Mm-hmm. But in terms of what happened in that bedroom, mm. we don't know. It's just implied. Some so they could have just been naked and kissing. Ah. They could just be kissing, and she yeah, could have no. said no. And but there's right. something that definitely transpired. Or maybe it was just like I'll show you mine if you show me yours <laughs> first. Yeah, yeah. And, like, <laughs> and like, well, this and is weird. actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird because Jake was acting so sus. Yeah. He was, yeah, he was like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he was acting really, yeah. I think non Jakey. Non Jakey. I don't know, he's definitely nervous. He was nervous. Right, he about. was like nervous and just. And he didn't tell Maddie, which, I mean, Maddie was kind of making it yeah, hard Maddie, to tell yeah, him. Was, he's like, you're my best friend, you're the only person I, I can trust. trust. The only person I trust and love. <laughs> and they both bonded over rejection. I thought if right. it, like, what I thought was going to happen, because you said out of left field, so yeah. when we were watching, you guys. So what I thought would happen is that they would bond, they would go to the bar together and, like, go meet up with everybody else, and that you guys, your characters would hook up. Like, you'd happen to be there with Liz's dad or something. Oh, that's so And crazy. that he would hook up with, like, Possibly. I don't know. Someone else. I mean, that would have been interesting too. <laughs> yeah, I would have Mike, liked this. Chris. Come on, yeah. guys. Come on, guys. They already make, make their happen. trailers a join. Just <laughs> <laughs> make their characters a join now. <laughs> Method acting. Method acting, <laughs> right? Uh, Why does Jake keep going for the sloppy seconds? I don't know. Obviously, they're catches. You know, they're yeah. not like they're whatever. I don't but know. that 
Yeah. Which is, it all happens so quickly. It's like it one did. moment they're like hugging by the pool, like they're lost. <laughs> and then the next they're like in bed together. You're like, what just, what happened? <laughs> what? Yeah. And we're sober. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. Sober I feel like feelings. Maybe there's more going on there because in my notes, I put Gabby and Jake at the pool. Dash new Jenna Jake like situation happening there. Like I just felt very reminiscent of that whole like season one arc with Jenna. Yeah. yeah. Can we get into Jake. your think tank? Yeah. You always predict and you predict it oh my correctly. Gosh. So maybe by the end of the episode. Maybe it, I'll just blurt something you will out. Have and, something. Like, yeah, at the end of it. But I mean this, needless to say, my feelings about Gabby, I feel like I was right this whole time to not like, like her. her. <laughs> because not that I necessarily want Jenna and Maddie together. I just am protective over Maddie because totally. he's he's my Maddie. So, you know, I'm like, <sighs> whoa, who's this girl? And then it probably didn't help that I watched Glee last season and saw Brie. <laughs> no! So when I saw you, I go, oh, that's Brie from Glee. What's she doing over there? Do you, do, you know do you know how many tweets I've gotten from fans being like, oh my gosh, this is the same girl <laughs> that was mean no. last season on Glee. No, because the, Brie was mean on Glee. Yeah. I feel like Gabby, she's everyone a, is visualizing her as a mean girl, but she's actually she's, a really nice I girl. I think that yeah. she's nice. Yeah, I think we're just being overly protective of Maddie. Maddie. And so I don't <laughs> think that Gabby is actually mean. I feel like Gabby couldn't have done anything to win. Like, no. she threw the party, she's trying to make friends with Jenna, and everyone still dislikes her. Because at the end of the day, they want Maddie and Jenna together, or they just don't want Maddie with with Gabby. Gabby. <laughs> Here at the end. Yeah, I mean... She's you, a new character. It's just like they don't have any sort of loyalty to her at this point, so... But hey, yeah. at least you have Bio Dad on your side. Yeah, Bio Dad. Bio Dad was like, you're soulmates. And I was like, I'll really? take it, Bio Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being on my side. You got one on Team Gabby. Well, team Gabby. Technically, Jake's on Team Gabby, too. Oh, yeah. Team well, Ga he's on Gabby. He's on Gabby. Yeah. Yeah. In Gabby? Literally. We don't know. Oh, we don't know. We don't know. know. Preposition works. <laughs> on or in. It's oh. like a Mad Lib. Just yeah. fill I'll, in the blank. I'll have my token blank. penetration for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I always oh. manage to use the word penetration for some reason. <laughs> like during the after show. That's awesome. Yeah. So there. Okay, it's been done. And um, speaking of penetration, let's talk about Tyler and Alyssa oh, right now. I literally knew that was coming next. <laughs> I knew it. I, read my mind. I could read your mind. You read like, my mind. Dead we're, ass. That, we're like I, that now? I, I knew that was coming. I can't. Anyway, proceed. Lacey. So the last time you were here, Kofi, mm -hmm. I kind of made the assumption that something right. was going to happen with you and listen. Did you know then that that was going to happen? I did. You At that did. point, I did, but I just found out. Oh, it was okay. still wild to me. All and right. we didn't do it yet. We like we didn't shoot any of those scenes. So you called it. I you did. definitely called yeah, it. Yeah, and pat myself on the back. <laughs> right Psychic. There. I don't know how. Because it was not obvious to me who, like, I was actually filming it and never thought that was coming, like, at all. I don't know how you saw that. I don't know how I did either. I think I was just trying to say something crazy. Yeah. And then it, and then it, and then it happened. 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 Uh, and I was okay. like, wait, are the writers, like, bugging my head right now? Like, what's going on? <laughs> so last week, we got to see them actually, you know, get it in. Right. And then all the excitement was kind Lissa, of... man. She just... Lissa's a wild child. She's on another one right now. Yeah. Um. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, bitch. <laughs> Hey, what's uh, that string right there? Right, right, right. <laughs> Just yanking. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was crazy because me and Greer, like, we were super cool. So she was, she was like, wow. She was not how how I first met her at all. Yeah, it was different. It was like a complete yeah. three sixty. By the way, uh, awkward fans, Greer is Miss yeah. Golden Globe. I know. Yeah. Yay. Congratulations. That's, that's, that's amazing. So she'll yeah. be presenting all the awards at the Golden Globes. Yeah, so yeah. make sure you watch them to see her. That's crazy. That's super dope. I, I never knew what Miss Golden Globe was. like Until, 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 until she got right. it. And you're like, let me look I'm into like, this. Let me figure yeah. that out. <laughs> now <laughs> that it's relevant. <laughs> Before I say congrats, maybe I should know. <laughs> maybe, like, <laughs> oh, cool. Did she win dope. a pageant? <laughs> she used to do pageants and stuff I know. when she was a kid. I had no idea. That's crazy. Well, if you're wondering what Miss Golden Globe is, every year there's a beautiful person. It's, <laughs> yeah. the, it's yeah. not always a girl. It's, it's not always a guy. Always and a girl and girl it's either. a child of a celebrity couple, and in this case, Spencer Grammer's daughter, Greer, right. is presenting the Golden Globes. And they have yeah. to be they have to be pursuing a career in entertainment. Yeah. Mm. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Nailed it. Uh, <laughs> I did uh, my research. Know. And they have uh. to be somewhat, if not very good looking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> check. I mean, check. All check. Of the check. Above. check. Check. All of the above. Um, so, with Lissa and Tyler's relationship kind of 
of fizzled. Where do you see that leaving? Like, is because he, he kind of got kicked out of the house right. because the I mean, it's mom just, was crazy. But I think mom wants you. That that was something that was interesting. They played that the entire time. But I don't know. It's just open. Like, it's just open. Just open. Even him being able to just pop up in Mexico. It's just like they always just leave Tyler just open just, just for a pop-up. You never know if, Yeah, you just never know. Up. Do you know if you're coming back? I don't know oh. yet. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like he will be coming back. We'll see. I love Mike and Chris, so we'll see. Do you think if you come back that you'll be there to hook up with Lissa's mom? That would be dope. <laughs> that would <laughs> yeah, be dope. Have another one of the students Leslie, get yeah, in with the that would, be, that would be dope. I, I can I can imagine it. Yeah. Well, what you guys were talking about with Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, let me bring that one back at you. Poor Gabby. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't mind the MILF, but let's get back to Gabby and Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. I mean, things just happen on Awkward. And you're just like, you can't call it. <laughs> you literally Well, can't. maybe yeah. you can. I know. <laughs> what if? You can't call it, <laughs> yeah. but I can't. I don't know. What if you come back and it's all a sham and you're actually American? I could see that. I could see that. Did you have an accent in the audition? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That was so bizarre to me. I <laughs> did you know he didn't have a no real idea. accent? No. Well, here's what's funny. Because we don't have any scenes together, right. even when I met right. him, I was just like, okay, cool. He, just, he wasn't speaking in a British accent to me when we were just like, chatting right. but when I watched the actual show and it was like whoa he's British on here <laughs> <laughs> like, I like texted him I'm like Kofi you're British <laughs> <laughs> it was like, bizarre to me but it was awesome to discover awesome discovery super dope oh man that's amazing I'm like, <laughs> I'm like wait a minute you're British you're what, what? <sighs> I couldn't imagine um, alright so we need to talk about Jenna a little bit she has met this new guy Brian she met him at the end of last episode, and he seems nice. He's a Marine. Yeah. Still don't know if I fully get his... I mean, I felt like his pickup line last episode was very kind of cheesy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. By the way, because we asked Nico this last week, do you guys remember what beach you guys were at when you were filming? We Malibu. were in Malibu. Okay. Do you know if it's the same beach where they filmed the opening for Grease? <laughs> <laughs> Because I was watching an episode and I just felt like it was very reminiscent of Danny and Sandy on the beach. I wouldn't be surprised. (laughs) (laughs) I wouldn't be surprised. We should look into that. I just wasn't sure if you guys overheard anything on set. Uh, Let me look at uh, the IMDb. I mean, Nico didn't know either, but you know, he was just sitting over there with his shirt off the whole time. Oh, Nico, (laughs) what's he good for? (laughs) Sitting with his shirt off. Sitting with his shirt off. We'll take it. I mean, time. it wasn't a bad view. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Kofi's got his buttons down right now. <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't saw know if that. Home. He's, I mean, it's down to like his belly button. Oh my Party God. Kofi. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, Party Kofi. Clearly, you have it open for a reason. You Everybody want people to look, so. The scene it's was cool. shot on Leo Carrillo State Beach, about eight miles west of Point Doom in Malibu. All right, now, if anyone knows if that's where they filmed Greece. Well, I do remember him saying Point Doom in Malibu. Oh. Who so it could that? really be it, the beach. So it could. Guys. Which would be really, really freaking <laughs> weird that you knew that this. that's what I noticed out of the whole scene. Yeah. PCH. So anyways. It is Malibu. Yeah. Wow. I think okay. I'm right. I'm just going to say I'm right. I don't really You're care. Right. Let's yeah. just call it. <laughs> I'm calling it. Okay, so Jenna and her new guy, um, they, you know, go off to the bar where, you know, everyone's kind of there. And I like Jenna with this new guy, but I'm still not convinced she's over Maddie. Oh, yeah, she's not over Maddie. I think she's just sort of distracting herself with this guy. Who doesn't do that, right? It's it's her first. It's your first love. You don't get over your first love while you're still in high school. It takes, like... Or in life. Yeah. (laughs) 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 I was trying to do a therapy session. I was just going to exit. My high school boyfriend's going to watch this and be like, what? (laughs) Aaron? Really? Is that you? Is that you? No. All of a sudden, you get a call. Wait, where are you from? Yeah. Like, with that area code? <laughs> I know. I can't. All of a sudden, he shows, he's like, I'm going to LA. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Dad, I'm getting Aaron back. <laughs> that actually did happen to me. That's not so like crazy. similar. But Wait. <laughs> what? Not like, not, okay. It was that I was in a commercial and I, a high school boyfriend like called me after and oh. I remember like ever since then ever like I see that area code and I'm like if I don't recognize it I'm not not <laughs> answering. Not answering. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Anyways, yeah, but I awkward mean, ex-boyfriends. Yeah, 
she even brought him back to the house where her mom and, and dad both were and like he already Mom's met the was parents cold. that was a cold blooded scene Ooh, with Maddie yeah. that was I was proud was of dope. Lacey in that moment yeah, I because like that. protective mom yeah someone need to say it but it, it, she, she was still like nice about it but she She's was like, just like yeah no like, yeah no oh, leave her but <laughs> right did Jenna break Maddie's heart or did Maddie break Jenna's heart because Jenna was the one who was unfaithful but I think, I think that they've both broken each other's hearts. True. Yeah. I think they just, they get in a pattern of it's like, well, you hurt me and now I'm going to hurt you. And then you hurt me and I'm going to hurt you, you back totally. again. So they're in the sick pattern of this yeah. back and forth. And so someone needed to step in and just like, hey, because they keep saying to each other, we can't fall into the same bad habits. But then they, they do. the next episode, yeah, they, they go do. back into that right. habit again. So they needed Mama Lacey to step in and be like, yo. It's not just between you two anymore. I know what's going on. (laughs) You out. And she's like, I'm pregnant over here, so I'm going to be like extra mama bear about my daughter right now. Which is very different from the mama Hamilton that we've seen in the past, who's been overly Mm -hmm. pro-Maddie. Oh, yeah. She's finally being the the mom. To a point of... Yeah, to a point of you're kind of questioning, like, Lacey, do you want to date? (laughs) <laughs> right. Lazy. Which I would which, love to see. Yeah, which, but now she's pregnant, so I don't want to see it anymore. Yeah. That would you guys be... love this whole MILF uh, MILF idea. dill. Oh, well, Nikki came into the show, and okay. she actually said oh. that, that she, she would want that to happen. Oh. That she, that she and like while that. she was pregnant, mind you. <laughs> oh. she said I know, she was actually pregnant, right? Yeah, she was actually pregnant, and she was here, and she was like, I, we were like, what do you want to see? Like, what's crazy? She's like, I'd like to see Lacey and Maddie. Maybe it could be like a <laughs> fantasy sequence or oh something. Oh, my God. We're like... Okay. Fantasy scene. Like, so hey. oh my so God. now we're we're very supportive of that movement, nice. you know. Hey. Yeah, I mean, work. Too. Plus, when you see her, she does always kind of like. I think she always wanted her daughter to be with you know the popular jock because right. like, you know season one Jenna wasn't that girl and you know that's why she wrote the letter right, right, and all right, that stuff. Right, so right. it's yeah. like, oh yeah, it's like, well, mom, if you like him so much, why don't why you, you date just him? Don't date him. <laughs> like, geez, maybe you should here. marry him. Which, um, that was another thing I called last episode, that Lacey's pregnant, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah you, did you call that for Yeah, that's that, crazy. That was my yeah, that's last nuts. week. She noticed that, there was that one Lacey line. said that she didn't want to drink. When she walked into the house when they first got to Mexico, uh, Lacey was like, oh, I'm good. And I was like, hmm? And uh, that, that was the only thing that was mentioned. Okay. I was like, guys, I think she's pregnant. I'm like, I'm and totally wrong. And now yeah. she is. Now she is. Yes. That mm-hmm. single moment. And I'm so happy for them. I think it'll be a great time to kind of start over. I was kind of sad, though. I wanted her to go to college. She can still go. 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 She can still go. She's not going to go, though. But I was really proud of Jenna for telling her mom, like, you can't let... I was already a reason why you didn't go. You can't let the new baby. baby. (laughs) I mean, she's still got nine months before it pops out. So so. we can at least start the first semester. Uh, Yeah. Get a couple couple credits. Get a couple credits. We'll see. We'll see. see. (laughs) Online courses. Online courses. That's not... not We're team Lacey go to college. What is she going to do? Go join a sorority? College. I would love for her to go to college. I mean, I think that was kind of the fear, too, that, you know, she'd go to side college eyes. and join us. Side eyes. Super, super side eye. Val is traveling the world now. Yeah, she's quitting her job. Which, I mean, let's Playing be honest. Playing with sharks and stuff. Val going out there swimming with the shark dolphin. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> the shark dolphin. <laughs> she was out there well, like, it's so great. They're I so thought that was like happy. He was like slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> Stringy hair. Just As dream sequence. Just trickling down. The <laughs> <laughs> that was like bizarre. <laughs> right. Really jarring. I, I thought in that moment when she made that announcement that she was going to get down on one knee and propose. I was expecting that too. I that would have. That, no, yeah, that's something Val would, would do. Val right, would do that. Would do that. But we did, I mean, but it was Tamara who ended up getting engaged tonight, which I felt like that was kind of out of left field. Yeah, the whole so episode should have yeah, been called Left Field. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Spring Break Left, left Field, field Mexico, Edition. Like. <laughs> I well, after leave. the season finale That's that crazy. we had from last season, we <laughs> needed something to top it. So they just yeah. kind of threw it all in one episode. <laughs> threw it all true. together. So much. I mean, Tamara meets Brian's friend. Um, what was his name? Adam. Adam. I think it was oh, a, yeah. It was oh, an yeah. A because oh, I remember yeah, thinking yeah, yeah. like, oh, TNA. Tits and ass. Oh! And then, <laughs> 
Hashtag. <laughs> team TNA. <laughs> team TNA. Um, turns out he's not actually deploying anytime soon, though. So, so she, or her great plan of like, oh, I'll just break up with him over Skype. Not nope. happening. They have nine months together. He's nice. in 29 Palms, which, <sighs> ugh. No offense to anyone who lives out there, but there is nothing out there. Oh, that's uh, a real thing? Yeah, it's, a, it's like where one of the bases is in the desert. Oh, oh. I didn't even know. I if thought it was okay. Yeah, it's like in the desert out there, guys. I grew up, like, out in the IE. It's yeah. out that way, so. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Way it's, out it's that out way. out there. there. There's Too a bunch far. of dirt, and then, like, there's some hot marines that are there. <laughs> that's about so, it. What, long distance? I mean... It's like maybe a two hour drive from the beach, mm-hmm. I guess. So, uh, basically long distance. Basi- basically long yeah. distance. But it's not like, I mean, they're in high school. It's not like they can go and stay overnight. Yeah, unless unless he's still at Camp Pendleton right now because that's where they oh. are right now. And so, San Diego up to Palos Verdes, which I, Palos Hills. The possibilities That's, are endless. Possibilities are endless. I feel like she'll end it within the next episode, which we won't get to see for a long time. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be like, yeah. been there, done that. That'll be an interesting I still have time. my bucket list. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what happened to her list? She was hitting it for a while, and then she kind of got looped in with Jake because he finally made her... <laughs> Um, um, that was a song lyric, yes, so I can yeah. say it. Yes. <laughs> C-O-M-E. Obviously. Uh, obviously. Duh. Obviously. Yeah. I don't know. Um, she just <laughs> drinks her water yeah. quietly. Just gonna sit Guys, over it's here. the name of the show. It's written everywhere. It's everywhere. This after show is meant for those moments. You know totally. what? At least this show we avoided talking about donkey shows, so I'm proud of you us. You just said it. Oh, there it We're is. We're talking about there it. There it is. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, you want to talk about it? We can talk about almost. it. Just do it. Donkey shows, ping pong shows. <laughs> what other shows were there? When yeah, Monty was here, we talked about ping pong shows as well. I don't oh, know what nice. that was. I had to look it up. I don't like know that. what that is. <laughs> just, I'll just get up later. Yeah. yeah. Just I was going to say, look just it up on your phone. It's, it's popular in Thailand. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so on that note, all right. so Kegel, <laughs> we have some minutes to spare, and I want to talk to you two about mm-hmm. um, your characters and upcoming projects that you have. So, with Tyler, and I guess with um, <coughs> Gabby, too. I almost called her Gabby Douglas. Gabby Douglas. <laughs> Gabby Douglas. <laughs> like, because you guys go back in um, January to start season five. So, where do you want to see your characters go for the final season of Awkward? Uh, I guess I would want, well, I would want both of us to find happiness. Aww. But um, with who? Aww. You know, I think that for me, cheating is sort of a, it's a deal breaker. And now both Maddie and Gabby have cheated on each other in this situation. And considering they don't really have a history, you know, it might be best for them to go their separate ways. Mm-hmm. But with that said, I sort of feel like Gabby and Jake might be good for a bit. You know, the yeah. way he was sort of talking about her. I know it was super awkward there at the end when he was talking to Maddie, but it almost got like a little hint of like maybe that like he cares about her a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, so and when good. Maddie was like, you know, will you go check on Gabby? He was like, yeah, okay. And he almost he fed he fed the idea to you know Maddie that maybe you should like go after Jenna because it's like if he goes after Jenna, then me and Gabby won't be a big deal. So maybe that could happen, and that would be fun to see just sort of unfold. And I want obviously I want Gabby to kill it at Stanford and continue playing tennis very well and <laughs> focusing on school and academics. But yeah. <laughs> maybe Jake could get accepted to Stanford too. Maybe. maybe. I do feel like I could definitely picture. Uh, Jake and Gabby more than Maddie and Gabby because yeah. I just never yeah. could really picture that. That's Not right. to take anything away from Maddie, but Gabby just always seemed too smart for him. Yeah, fair and enough. And I always questioned why she was dating him, okay. and I think that because I felt like she wasn't intellectually stimulated by what he had to offer. Yeah. Fair enough. So maybe Jake's the... Without calling Maddie dumb. Not okay. That's <laughs> not my intent here. But <laughs> That's what happens, though, between high school and post-high school, is the guy who everyone thought was, like, the coolest or the girl, turns out not right. always the case yeah. in real yeah. life. Fair like, enough. True. True Tyler. Story. Tyler. Tyler. Um, if Tyler... Say it in your accent. <laughs> yeah, it. Say it in your accent. Um, 
if Tyler does come back to school, I would love to just see him like get to actually like explore school. I feel like everything he does is with Lissa and that family, which is great. But like you know, we've done a lot, and I feel like it would be cool to see him deal with like some girls or get in trouble, do something. You know, he's not from here. There's so much you can do with that. Yeah, and yeah. use his accent to get out of and trouble use with accent. it. <laughs> see, there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> no, that would be dope. That would be cool. That would be really. And cool. then of course Tyler and Gabby's storyline. Yeah. Yeah. If that could happen, we'll if, we'll pitch yeah. it. And Aaron, Mike, Chris, again. Make it happen, Mike make and Chris. It happen. Did you know how to play tennis already when you, because you were out there, you were like Venus and Serena out there. <laughs> Hilarious actual like story about that. I had played recreationally, and I told Mike and Chris, I was like, guys, they were like, can you play? And I was like, if I'm being honest, like, I'm no Venus Serena. I've played a little bit, but like, like I can hit a ball, but like, I'm not a pro. Because that's the last thing you want to do is get to set and have them expect right. that you're, like, right. professional. So I was honest, and they still gave me the part. They're like, yeah, as long as you know how to pretend, it's no big deal. I got there. I had taken a lesson just to refresh, like, a couple you. days prior, you know. Mm-hmm. The first ball that is thrown at me, they're literally pitching the balls over the net, and the cameras are facing <laughs> It somehow hits my racket, and out of, I don't know how this is even possible, but it, like, hits me in the face. <laughs> Like, like, yeah, I got this, guys. And I'm, like, doing the practice swings and, like, nailing each one. And then the first one for the first take, oh I God. swing. It bounces off the side and hits me in the eye. And I'm like, I'm good, guys. I'm good. I was like, my eyes were watering. <laughs> After that, there was nothing possibly that could top that. And then I was, you know, I was nailing it. You know, Broke clearly. the ice. Broke yeah. the ice. But, no, I had played a little, but not, no. What you saw there, those were my best takes. <laughs> <laughs> Who are Gabby's friends? Um, there was uh, there was that one girl. <laughs> God, wait, you remember she was there with the party? I don't remember her name. It's Intimidation Nation. Yeah. That's her crew. They come and go as they please. They're normally just sort of in the background when she needs people or to help set up for parties. They rotate they who rotate. is in yeah. it. But no, there was there was a there was that main girl who was she's played by um D D Doug were you there for that for my friend were you at the birthday party no oh, no I never mind so. I think he was kicked out of the house <laughs> we can be yeah, each other's you know friends. I don't want to have friends I need friends <gasps> shoot you need to come back and come to school and make some friends right maybe oh, Gabby's nice. like independent woman you know that also <laughs> but can you imagine Jake and Tyler fighting over you <laughs> another awesome. great storyline <laughs> and they already kind of had that you know problem with Lissa yeah Jake and Tyler oh Oh, mm. so now there's another girl who comes again. Them. Jake. Jake. I keep looking over at you because I want to see if you're saying yes or no. Because right. whenever the you say yes to, awkward guru right here. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not. That's what it's gonna be. That's what's gonna I'm happen. Not She's writing down tonight. notes and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to figure out I'm like just trying to figure something. Out my predictions. A couple more I'm like minutes. Everything oh, crazy goodness. that could happen has happened. But um, so what do you guys have coming up like outside of awkward? I know. Um, Aaron, I read that you're working on some music, and yeah. I saw that Kofi's in something called Straight Outta Compton, oh, and Whiplash, yeah. and Whiplash, so I want to hear about these projects. Um, yeah, God is good. Um, I've been working on a new film called Kicks, which I just filmed in Oakland, and uh, that comes out sometimes in like spring, I'm thinking like March or April, and it's a big role. It's like my first lead role. Um, I play a character called Flacco. It's like a 360 from anything I've done, I wore yeah. grill the entire film. I saw uh-huh. pictures yeah. on Instagram. <laughs> it was just crazy. So I, I'm excited for everybody to like see me in that light. It was dope. Yeah. No accent. Um, I mean, just like you know, the bay. Like the just bay bruh, accent. Bruh, 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 you know? That'd be awesome if you had a British accent right. in there too. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, it was cool. It was cool. It was a lot of fun. And straight out of Compton's coming out, and I, I believe August 15th, and Whiplash is in theaters now. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Killing it. Killing and it. And they're like, Aaron. And Aaron. 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 What are you doing? Where you just come from? Um, what are you doing? Yeah. I just got back from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. I was shooting a guest lead part on the show Constantine. It's a new NBC oh. show. Can't wait cool. to see that. So I was there for like three and a half weeks um, working with um, the main character, Matt Ryan. And I can't really say much about my storyline. They make us <laughs> sign yeah. up all these crazy yeah, things. Yeah. But it was a very big departure from things that I, I normally do. I'm, I'm normally focused on like dramedy and comedy. People know me from Awkward and Glee and Disney and ABC Family stuff. So this right. was really great to like be involved in a very like big dramatic role. I had to tap into some pretty dark emotions for the, the part. So I'm looking forward to um, 
that airing. It airs on January 2nd. It's the Ooh. 11th episode. And I will be with my family watching it, which will be great, because oh, I'll yes. still be with them for the holidays. And other than that, yeah, music stuff. Um, that's always sort of in the back of my mind. I love singing, so I'm always in the studio working on something. And I promise mm. fans that before 2015, they'll hear something. So, What kind of uh, music, if I can ask Yeah, yeah you can ask questions. He's like, Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> Aaron. What kind of, what kind of um, music do you make? I like, you know, pop. Basically, like, pop right. R&B stuff. Okay. Yeah. If you were to make a project, like, what kind of project would you make? project like a like an ep mixtape ep oh ep album. ep i mean the ultimate goal is for you know me to be working on a legitimate um, album album yeah. but for right now acting is sort of my main my main focus okay. but that's something that i like to continue to explore well, if dope. you ever come out with something, dope, come dope, out a radio dope. show oh i will yeah. that's good to know do you oh. want to stay in tv film um, I want to do it all. I want to do TV, film, um, music. You know, I also want to get into the production, directing side. I like to be on the other side Definitely. of the camera. I've written a pilot with a friend from school. Cool. That you know is something that I'm really excited about. It's so, just never the right time. You're like, let me shop it, but I, know, I am I like auditioning for, for every, like, yeah, thing, right. everything else. under the sun. So real. Yeah. <laughs> what are so you guys real. watching? Um, watching like on yeah. TV right TV, now. TV, movies, like what are some things that you guys have been crazy about in your downtime you look at either as guilty I've, pleasure or I've inspiration? I've been like just closed off. I've been working on a project of my own right now, so I haven't really tried to watch too much. Like I go into like watching mode so I can get inspired. Once I get inspiration, I lock myself off. And right now I'm in inspiration mode, so. Um, so then do you have music maybe that you're listening to? That? Yeah. Um, the, how do you say his name? The Le- Theophilus London. Theophilus London. Theophilus yeah. London. He just dropped that new vibe album that's really sick and they Gotta have like it that. chopped and screwed and whatnot so I've been playing that close my eyes uh, create some vibes yeah <laughs> what about you I um okay I just saw the movie Gone Girl me too I what did you guys it. think okay we won't what, it for you. Ruin it. I, what? You I know it. I'm super disappointed but we won't ruin it. Yeah, I, we can't ruin it. I liked it. I mean, it was a really wonderful story mm-hmm. and, like, kept us all captivated, but it just was one of those things where I was just a little... All right, I gotta go see Disappointed that by that. I didn't read, did you read the, the book? I didn't read the I didn't, book. I didn't, yeah. You were disappointed by the ending? I don't know what I was disappointed by. <laughs> oh. I just don't I've wanna. heard that it's that. But I have an idea right now. Sure. I think that... Aaron, when you're working on your music, maybe Kofi should come in and give you a freestyle on like a verse, get, like drop a verse <laughs> in the middle of one of your songs. In the yeah, of a song. yeah. Because I mean, I know you wanted to freestyle earlier, <laughs> and I'm not putting on you on the spot or anything. But if you wanted to freestyle now, right now I wouldn't be totally opposed to it. Could. Do we have a beat? Like. Uh, we on after buzz. Uh, getting after buzz. <laughs> I'm with. I don't know. Come on. Oh, no, I need a better beat. I need a better beat. Y'all oh, you mean that we're horrible beat boxers? Pretty much. Oh, pretty much. I could do it to that. No, I'm just kidding. Nah. You could just do like uh, what Selena Gomez just recently did. What I mean, I know people do? have done it before, but we're like at the beginning, she has like. The monologue oh, <laughs> before God. the music starts. That sounds dramatic. And you can use your British accent. So dramatic. Oh my love God. It. And then you'll it. start singing. I know. Just come out. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, voice went, hey girl. <laughs> I've been thinking about you all night. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh. Are we like trying to make a track, an album right here after Buzz mixtape. Oh, wow. You're welcome. Right. You're welcome. By the way, uh, Sadie. Uh, that's awesome. Um, my last question for you, Aaron is you went to Harvard, and you also, no? Yes, I yeah, did. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm, like, no, I'm like, no, it was on That's IMDb. That's an admiration. Yeah. Just. And then you also were a host for MTV Spring Break. How does a Harvard girl end up at MTV Spring Break? And bring all of her friends. And bring all of her friends. Yeah, you're supposed to be in the library studying a lady. <laughs> I've always been really interested in entertainment, but I've been very academically focused as well. I come from a very so academic family. So, you know, it, Harvard was always the end goal for me. But then when I got there, it was like, okay, I had always been, you know, putting entertainment and performing sort of in the back seat. And I wholeheartedly pursued, you know, acting and broadcast journalism. And I, I had internships at like NBC and Oxygen and BET. And through all of those sort of connections, I got the chance and the opportunity to audition for MTV VJ my senior <laughs> year. And, um, 
they didn't originally want to give me the job because they were like, you're still in college and you're not New York local. <laughs> That's the that do that. Yeah. Like, we want somebody who lives in New York and who can kind of do this and commit to this. And I sort of just talked them into it. I was like, listen, I will take a bus. I will take a train. I will do whatever I have to do. Um, and I was, uh, gosh, I was working with MTV on and off for three years. I hosted Spring Break three years in a row. Um, see, my first Spring Break was my senior year and I brought all of my friends to Acapulco. That's awesome. Um, they were all in the audience as I was like interviewing like Snoop Dogg and Trey Songs, and oh, wow. it was a great way for me to sort of get more comfortable in front of the right. camera because you're not acting necessarily, but you're also not yourself. Mm -hmm. It's right. like sort of an amplified version of yourself. So right. I um, was able to really just find myself in that moment and be excited to be on I camera still... and interacting with really cool people and. Yeah, they gave me my start, and now I'm on an MTV show, which yeah. is crazy. No, so it has nothing to do with it. They're like, let's keep <laughs> so her in the family. Yeah. Right. No, Scott and Mike actually had no. Mike and Chris, I just called Scott, Scott and Mike. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Mike and Chris had no idea that I had been a VJ until after I'd already um, got the show. Amazing. At what point did you transition from okay, host on the East Coast to I'm gonna go to LA, I'm gonna pursue acting? Right. So the job I told MTV, I was like, maybe I'll come to New York after school after I graduate, and I. I, I was able to meet my manager while I was still in school and I told her sort of my ambitions to be an actress and she was like, you have to come to LA. So literally I did MTV for about a year while I was a student and then they were pretty supportive of me going, just going to LA and sort of tackling the bigger projects when I had the time. But it was literally after college. So I had one year in school hosting and then two years hosting from afar in LA. But I, I did South by Southwest, I did a lot of their on location stuff, spring break, uh, stuff at the New York Stock Exchange every now and then. So it was Amazing. cool. It was really, yeah. I feel very blessed. Like Kofi said, it's like it's nice to look back and see that, you know, God has like a plan and yeah. it unfolds the way it's no supposed doubt. to, for sure. Totally. Yes. No well, thank awesome. you both for joining us Thanks tonight. For We're, us. We talked ourselves out of time. We're so done. you guys <laughs> both have to come back next season yeah. to talk Yay. some more to Definitely. us. Um, so in the meantime, where can fans find you guys on social media? Um, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram, <laughs> Kofi Sirbo, K O F I S I R I B O E. And for me, Erin Westbrook on Instagram. That's two N's, E R I N N Westbrook, and Twitter, Ari Veronica. Ooh, very sexy. Oh, mm. And you can it's find me at <laughs> what? No, it's like Ari uh, Veronica. Uh, Ari Veronica. Veronica. <laughs> Shoulder shrug. <laughs> uh, you can find me at Giselle Ugardi on most social media platforms. Giselle Ugardi official on Facebook and Sprinting and Stilettos on YouTube. <laughs> yes. Y'all have like eight things. Yeah, check it out. You're like Pinterest. Yeah. Oh, and also Turn on Pinterest. Um, Dash Radio, my show is tomorrow at 3 p.m. Every Wednesday, get pumped up with me on Dash. <laughs> and you can find all of us here at AfterBuzz TV. Thank you for watching for this season, guys. Make sure you go to YouTube, iTunes, Facebook, like, comment, su comment subscribe to us there. Oh, sorry, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at the Tian Hobson. And thank you once again to our special thank guests. Thank you, guys. Coming in, Thank and so we'll much. see you guys next season for season five, the final season of Awkward Senior Year. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, guys! From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. You're welcome. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.